Hey everyone, Eyal from Odalix here. I wanted to show you our new free app and plugin called Plugin Buddy. Plugin Buddy is an app or plugin that lets you host your other plugins. So you can host other VST3 plugins in there and you can use it to just jam with the plugins along with a chain of effects and media effects. And there are also cool features if you use it in a DAW or if you use it standalone. So let's go through this. When you load Plugin Buddy, uh, it lets you load an instrument into the instrument slot. That's probably the most important feature of Plugin Buddy. You click here, it's going to show your uh, the list of your plugins, and you can load something like uh, Serum. You see, it loaded the Serum plugin window, and I can just uh, hit my keyboard and play Serum. Now I can close it and you'll see that there's also a visualizer here, kind of reflects what you're doing and you can start adding uh, other things. So for example, let's add into the processing chain, let's add uh, something like the uh, Polyverse Supermodel filter. That's a really, really high end filter and we can just apply it. Right? And we can immediately get some good, uh, good sounds. Let's add a reverb. Let's add something like a Fab FabFilter Pro R. And uh, let's reduce the mix because we have a built-in mix feature. So that's just a very convenient way where without any DAW you can create a chain. Uh, you can also get a bit more fancy. You can load something like Modalix Eon Arp. And uh, let's uh, start with a preset or something. Right, so you can very quickly uh, get a chain of MIDI instrument and audio effects. Um, let's start with a few other uh, useful features. So I'm gonna go back to my init preset and I'm gonna load one of my favorite piano plugins. It's called Ivory by Synthogy. So I load Ivory. I'm gonna pick a piano model, the i3 German piano. Awesome. Let's uh, jam with it for a second, see if it works. One of the things I uh, usually miss about a lot of piano plugins is the way to create very detailed costume velocity curves. So there are a few built-in plugins in Plugin Buddy that are also free. Uh, you can go to internal here and you'll see a plugin called Velocity Curve. Velocity Curve lets you create your own costume curve. So I can set it so that, uh, for example, I can limit my playing to the lower velocities. Or maybe I want to make it reach really easily to the higher velocities. Or I can create a curve so that it will be harder or easier to reach them. But I can also add points so I can say, well, make it linear up to here, but then curve it really quickly to the end. Right? Or maybe lower the point of here. So I have very uh, high level of detail in the lower velocities. And then have a... Um, way more uh, aggressiveness in the higher velocities. You can add more points, more curves, and then, you know, reset that. So this is a very useful tool for, you know, helping you control your VST instrument. We've added a few other free utilities here. One is Transpose, which is as much as it sounds, can transpose you octaves up and down or semitones up and down. It's also useful because it's, uh, it's a real-time uh, uh, transposer, so you can hear the chord changes as I'm holding it and changing it. Very useful. Um, and there's also a MIDI monitor if you want to, you know, kind of debug the notes that you have coming in or out. Uh, there's also a built-in synthesizer if you don't have uh, a synth or you just want to try our own. We have our own The Bud uh, synth. It's just a very basic synthesizer with two oscillators. You can have an, uh, a filter, a filter with an envelope. Change the strength of the filter. Uh, key tracking, uh, uh, ADSR. It's a very, very basic synthesizer, but it does allow you to select an oscillator and create a few useful sounds. On the effects section, 
uh, one of the things that we have is we have uh, a few internal plugins. One is a clipper, just a basic uh, clipper synth. Sorry, basic cl a clipper effect. Good for distorting sounds as well as uh, just a basic SVF filter that you can apply to other instruments or synth. Great. And for each of the effects, you can always add mix. So even if you, for example, if you like our clipper and you want to use that, you can clip the sound, and then mix it in parallel with the sound. So this is very useful and uh, a nice way to let you control, uh, you know, control your chain. Something else to do is you can map these little control uh, sliders in case you want to control things from the main UI. So let's open a plugin like uh, Vital. So let's open Vital. This is the UI. Let's have it bigger. And let's say that I want to take uh, an element, uh, for example, the, uh, you know, the, the pitch here, or the, sorry, the level of the oscillator here. So I can click Map from the top of the of the plugin window just move this and immediately this mapped to uh oscillator one level now i can close this and i can use this to control the level of the oscillator from the main uh from the main ui another feature we've added that might be useful is a way to randomize the parameters uh, that will just send random values to all automation parameters in the plugin Notice that this feature can be quite chaotic, like some sounds may not play, some may be too loud, so be very careful when using this feature as it uh, does not discriminate between different parameters. But you can do stuff like randomize here. Let's remove the slipper. So these are all just uh, nice sounds that uh, could be achieved with randomizing the parameters. Uh, in any of the plugins that you load, so for example, let's load a plugin like Diva. Uh, you can, of course, control the synth from the UI, but you can also click all params, and that would give you like a generic view, which will show you all the different parameters. So you can just go, go here and see what's being automated. This is very much the same as loading it in a DAW. Another important feature is, let's say you have an effect loaded here. So let's have Feb Filter Pro R again. Uh, you can always use uh, right click and then cut and then paste, for example, here. So you can always cut and paste between different slots or copy and paste if you want to copy another instance of the plugin. So that's another um, way to do this. When loading plugins, you have two ways of loading the plugin. The best way is to click Rescan Plugins. You can also click that uh, Scan Plugins button right at the top. Let's click it. And this will just scan all the VST3 plugins loaded on your computer. You can also click Load File and directly load a VST3 file from your computer. Like let's load uh, Diva here. Um, usually you want to use the scanner and not this feature. The main thing about this feature is just sometimes you want to avoid scanning, or you might be a plugin developer who wants to test a random plugin on their computer. So this is a useful way to do this. As I've explained earlier, Plugin Buddy is both a standalone app and a plugin. So you can load it in your DAW. Like for example, here I'm in Ableton Live. It's going to load as an instrument. So I load it into one of the MIDI tracks and you can load a full chain in it. You might ask yourself, why is that useful? So in many DAWs, you actually need to open multiple tracks to assign MIDI effects. Like for example, in Ableton Live, if you wanted to assign something like Modalic's Eon Arp or Arpeggiator, you would have to open a separate track for this. So in uh, Plugin Buddy, you don't have to do that. You can select your instrument. So let's select something like Serum here. Uh, let's load one of the presets and... <laughs> right, I have Eon Arp running into uh, Serum. Let's have like a... Uh, you know, like a synth preset or something. And let's add the velocity curve. So another MIDI uh, effect in here. So let's add the velocity curve and let's make this softer. So this is a very useful way to create a chain 
that you can you know duplicate to another track you can save this as a preset you can copy this between projects so this is just a really nice useful way which is much more convenient than the way most DAWs do that which is add a bunch of different tracks another important feature of plugin buddy is that it loads vst3 plugins however it can be loaded as another type of plugin so if you're using a DAW like logic or pro tools that load other formats than vst3 you can use those to load vst3s inside of your DAW. Uh, this is especially useful in the case of something like pro tools because pro tools only loads aax plugins but not all plugins exist in the aax format for example, I'm now in Pro Tools, and I can open an instrument track and load a multi-channel instrument and pick Plugin Buddy. So once that loaded, I can actually host something like Vital here. Vital is an amazing free synthesizer plugin made by MetaTel, but it only exists as a VST3 and AU plugin. It does not exist in the AAX format. However, here you can just load it. You can play it, you can even add uh, more things to the chain. For example, let's add our, uh, our internal filter. And you can just play it, right? So you can play it inside of Pro Tools even though it's not supported. And there are quite uh, some quite amazing sounds uh, you can use with uh, Vital. It has uh, amazing presets and you can really push the boundaries of your synthesis uh, with that. So hopefully you will enjoy this. Uh, as we said, Plugin Buddy is free. It's going to remain free. Uh, it's going to be hopefully a good utility that you can just open up when you're jamming, open up when you want to create, you know, chains with MIDI effects, chains with an arpeggiator, uh, chains with a sequencer. So uh, I'm really hopeful that uh, it will uh, bring some uh, value to your uh, musical life. Have fun.